Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and welcome to Humble Beginnings on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. I'd first like to publicly thank Mr. Alien Jim for all that he does for this community. Thank you, your work is appreciated. This will be something new for me. I hope this will be a long-term, slower-paced survival roleplay with a few twists. What are the twists? They're a secret, but they'll be revealed as the series progresses. As you can see, we are in No Man's Land by Mr. Alien Jim. I will be playing on Hard Economy with the Seasons Geo Minnesota US. 12 day seasons to closely approximate one game day to equal one week. Yes, a 48 week year. And time speed set to five. I want to make the farming as realistic as possible, roadkill realistic, and would like your input on what self-imposed rules I should use. Some that I came up with are listed down in the description below. I'm still trying to come up with a repair restriction. Can you think of anything else I should think about? I used new farmer mode to start the map and then made my modifications. We start our adventure in a remote rural location in fertile ground somewhere near the Black Hills of South Dakota. We chose to move to this area because of its isolation and possibilities of expansion while still being fairly close to a highway. We have sold all that we own except for our chainsaw and our trusty old lady. No, our pickup truck. The tract of land that we purchased has an old abandoned farmstead on it and is surrounded by government-owned land. Let's go take a look at it. Hopefully there isn't too many snow dunes in the way. The old lady's pretty dirty. Ooh, I better slow down a little bit here. This is slippery. So this is all government land. As far as I know, it's U.S. Forest Service. And I don't know if we're going to see them or not, but there's a bunch of old farm, farm, old forest service roads scattered around out here. Oh, got a corner here. According to the instructions, it's straight ahead. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, slid that corner a little bit. This must be it. This must be it. Oh, looks like we've got a cow pasture. Looks like that might hold 50 cows. We got a few bales over there. There's some bales underneath that cover. Pretty rusty silos. We've got a water tank over there. Oh, there's a field. Oh, what's in that? Ah, uh, it's withered something. Well, let's park the car. Aw, oh, the windmill's broken. Well, we'll have to work on that. We got some old relics in this garage. Jeepers. That's an old little tractor. Oh, it's dark in here. Old little plow, cultivator, wagon. Wagon doesn't look that bad. Huh. Dirty old New Holland. And I don't know about this brand. I've never heard of that. Little cedar. Oh, so let's see here. Looks like we have three silos. We'll be able to have three different crops in there. And, oh! Looks to me like there's some timber left here. This is the Black Hills, South Dakota. Lots of timber. 
But you're not allowed to cut it unless you get permits. What we got here? Oh, we got us a little chicken coop. Oh, maybe it's not so little. We got... Oh, uh, well. Might be a little bit of feed in there. Yeah, no chickens home. Which doesn't surprise me. I guess this has been empty for quite a while. And we got... Let's see. A couple of... What kind of bales are these? Looks like straw bales. And... Yep, a couple more straw bales. I am interested in this over here, though. I would not mind getting a couple cows. I like to raise my beef. Definitely. Water trough. Full of... Snow. Ice. Anything in here? No, it's barren. Alright, well... Oh, we've got a hay bale. And I'm going to say those are some silage bales there. All right, let's check out this field. Looks like we have wheat and fallow. It hasn't, there hasn't been anything done for a long time. It needs plowed, it needs limed. My goodness. Oh, and we've got us a little workshop in there, it looks like. That will definitely be getting some use. Well, this house has seen better days. And the door's opened, probably got raccoons in it. My goodness. Well, hopefully the water pump's working. Oh, I bet the windmill's got to get fixed for that. I don't know if it's on electric or not. Oh, that's a nasty bathtub. And a bed. Okay. Yeah, a little storage up here. All right, well... What do I need to do? I'd like to get some chickens going. Give me some breakfast eggs. Hmm. Let's see, if I'm gonna get cows, I need... I don't see any way to get water over there. I need a transport of some kind to haul water. I need to get that windmill fixed. Hmm. I'll need to get some way to transport cows and get the bales into the cow feeder. Well, And I'll bet I need to get some spark plugs and oil, and we'll see if we can't get this tractor fixed up and running. All right, let's run back up to the farm dealer up by the highway, and we'll see what's available. I don't know about that. It's a Massey Ferguson 1300. All right, hopefully they got parts for this thing. And a three point link on the back is all I have. Hmm. All right. 
we will head back up to the farm dealer and we'll be back with you in just a little bit Here's the farm dealer. Wow. It's the only way in through that big door. That door's locked. Oh, here we go. How about this door? Nope. Well, I hate to open that big door and let all this cold air in, but... Maybe they're used to it. Maybe they're used to it. We'll get it shut real quick here. There we go. All right, I'll be back with you after I get done talking with some people. Okay, I spoke with the owner, Paul, and he said it's good to see someone moving back into the old farm, and if there's anything we need, they'll try to help. I mentioned that there isn't much to do until the ground warms up, and this was Paul's response. I'd like the trees cut down north of the retaining wall to make an access road to form a turnaround for long vehicles. I already have Forest Service approval and a permit. And speaking of Forest Service, they're looking for a new person to do some tree planting, if, if you're interested. I said yes, that we would be interested in that as well, and Paul said he would let the Forest Service know. As for the tree cutting north of the wall, Paul said that we can keep all the trees that we cut, and when we're done with the job, they give us a bonus of some kind. I don't know what. I said great, but I need to spend some money first. I need some sort of a lift to put bales into a cow feeder. And you're not going to believe this, but the only tractor I have is a Massey 1300. Well, they had the plugs, points, condenser, filters, everything we needed for the old Massey. And I think we bought everything on our list. The animal transport we bought is a modular one. They said if we get ready to buy another one of any kind, they'd see if they could get a modification kit for this one we just bought. That swinging piece of steel in the back of the truck box is a hydraulic lift that another local farmer makes and sells. And we're pulling a little stainless steel water tank on a dolly behind us. Paul said that any timber that we want to sell should be set in the tree bunker to the left of the road here. Once we call them, they'll come out and pick them up. No need to unload the logs if we don't want to. They can grab them off the ground or out of the trailer. No problem. Well, let's get back to the farm now.
Let's put this water dolly over by the storage tank. Park this right here. Now let's see if we can get this old Massey fixed up and running. Done. Now to see if it starts. Cool. Now we have a tractor. Let's give it a try. Wow, these tires are pretty good. We didn't even slide when we turned the corner. Now to fill the water dolly. Open the valve. And... We have water. Yay! Time to put some in the animal trough. Perfect. Now, where to put this? Oh, this is a tight squeeze. This might not be the best place for this. But it'll do for now. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get that lift out of the old lady. And onto the tractor. Doesn't reach. Maybe if we. Perfect. Well, let's see if we can work this thing without tipping over our tractor.
Nice. All right, let's see if we can raise this up. There we go. And extend it. Okay. Get it over the hole. Ooh. And drop. Perfect. Better put this down before we hit something. Here will be good for now. Nice piece of equipment. I like that. Hay looks good. Water looks good. I think we're ready for some cattle. Wonder if this gate works. Nice. Is there anything else we need to do to be ready for some animals? If there is, I can't think of anything. Oh, money. We need to cut up those logs and sell them and see how much money we can make. Oops, left the old lady running. If we cut them in half, they should fit in that trailer fine. Now, where to park this? Where's the best spot? There we go. Chainsaw still works. Oops. We need to get the old Massey over here. Let's see if we can get this thing to work again. Lower 
this down. Nice. Oh my, we're spinning. And we snagged another log. Let's try this again. That's better. Now let's line this up. Okay, that's what not to do. Okay, take two. Line this up and drop. Maybe a love tap. There we go. That's about the middle. Eh, close. Let's try two at once. Ooh, she's getting light on the front end. Dang it. Two sticking out now. Alright, let's cut the rest up.
There we go. I wonder... Oh, front end's getting light again. That should work. Eh, a little crooked. It'll be okay. Now for the last bunch. I want to grab them. Oh. There we go. Oh. to grab them right nope Hold it. there oh let's bring the boom in there we go that's about all this old Massey can do Dang it. I wonder if it'll go in the truck. No, too, ooh, too big. I hope I hit the headache bar. Good. We need to square these up a bit. There. Think that'll stay? Let's find out. Ooh, the old lady's squatting a bit. Ooh, she's squatting a lot.
We need to set the cruise control to slow for this. Not too bad. This might work. Really? We'll come back for it. Well, we lost two logs on the way. This looks like the spot. Wow. Well, we'll leave the trailer there and we'll go call the lumber mill. Well, the lumber mill said they would send a truck out in a little bit and credit our bank account after they inspect the load. Now let's go order some chickens before the animal dealer goes to lunch. Chickens ordered and will be delivered this afternoon. Only $283 for 50. That's not too bad. Hey, the snow just melted. Oh, we better go get those two logs before they come to pick up our load. This is going to be a cold, cold drive. Okay, log number one.
There we go. It's here somewhere. And log number two. I wonder if we can... Nope. Front axle's too low. Yikes. Line these up. Oh, wow. Front end is light again. I love it out here. Beautiful landscape. Those are some cool rock formations. Well, it looks like they haven't been here yet. That's good. wonder if I can sneak these logs on the side of the trailer there. Hmm. Nope. Let's see, unhook this. Square up. There we go. Grab the trailer. Darn it. And pull it back in off to the side. That should work. Hook this back up.
and put it right, right there. That'll work. Okay, let's go see about some cows. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Humble Beginnings. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. See you soon. Bye for now.